so good to see everybody again. Now, I know that probably a lot of you have heard the phrase, color inside the lines, right? And that normally means that when you're coloring, you want to keep all of your colors nice and neat inside the lines that you're coloring in. But what we're going to be doing today is the opposite of coloring inside the lines. We are going to make some lines so that we can color on the outside of them. Here's what you'll need for this project. Paper, paints, and a paintbrush. I'm going to be using a paint palette, some tape. This project will work with either electrical tape or masking tape, painter's tape, something like that. I wouldn't recommend using anything like duct tape just because we are going to be taking the tape off of our paper and we don't want to rip it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is lay your tape out on the paper in the shape that you want it. I have gone ahead and taped down the shape that I would like my painting to be. It might be kind of hard to see because my tape is white, but let's see how many sections I have on my paper. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to need six different colors to paint with. I already have three here, but I'm going to have to get three more. What's lucky is that there are six colors in the rainbow. So I think that that's what I'm gonna do today. Well, I went and I picked out my paint, but it looks like I am out of orange and purple paint, which is fine because I do have red, yellow, and blue, and those are all of the colors that I need to make all of the colors of the rainbow. So today, a fun and unexpected twist in today's lesson is that we are going to be mixing paint to make the colors of the rainbow. First, I will just add some red. I don't need to change anything about that. Next is orange. So I'll do half red and half yellow. Now it's just plain yellow. Don't need to change that. Now we need to do green. We do have green paint, but since we're mixing colors, let's get that thing out of here. So we're going to mix together our yellow with our blue to make our own green. Next is plain blue, don't need to change it. Last is purple, which is blue and red. Let's go ahead and mix those. Okay, and there we go. We have all six of our colors to fill all six of our spaces. Something that's really nice about making a painting with these tape lines is that you don't have to worry at all about getting messy because they are there to protect you. Here's what my painting looks like right now. Now it is time to take off our tape. How cool is that? I think it looks really nice and I've got all six colors of the rainbow. And I mixed them all by myself. You can do anything you want to with this kind of project where you put your tape down, and I think that you guys will have a lot of fun trying it out. Okay, I will see you guys next time. I hope you're having fun out there. Bye!